before you have a questions, you just ask me. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we start now. So welcome to the uh, demo for the cloud platform integration. So let's understand what is the need to learn the cloud platform integration. Is there any necessary uh, from the market to uh, learn this course? If it is uh, needed, then what are the factors? What are the actual reasons that are influencing us to learn this course? Just look at uh, uh, those aspects here. So uh, as you are uh, seeing in the um, uh, in your day to day life, uh, you know, the entire world is going to digital, right? So the convergence of trends such as cloud computing, social networks and social platforms and the mobility, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence. So that the entire uh, that resulting in the big data is changing how we conducted the uh, business, how we are doing the way of life, right? So this is increasingly experiencing in a change in our personal lives. So the same trends are moving to the enterprise companies as well. Uh, for example, if you look at a uh, 20 years back or uh, 30 years back, uh, the enterprise uh, software means is on-premise where we install the software. Uh, there uh, we uh, uh, configure the applications at on-premise and providing that software services to the enterprise companies in that way. But now uh, the on-premise environments are uh, from the shift is moving from on-premise to the cloud so whatever we do for one client at one place that as the companies are uh, you know the entire shift is moving to the cloud and from there they are providing the same service or even better service with less price uh, not even maintaining the 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 software and no need to buy the software and not even no need to configure the entire no need to build the entire uh, the organizational uh, uh, setup for the enterprise companies all these things are taken care by the companies and they provide as a service so it doesn't the it doesn't mean that uh, you know the on-premise environments are not so uh, it is a takeaway completely that is go that is also continue at the same time the new trends uh, based on the cloud model uh, so based on the subscription based model and which is hosting in the cloud that will that is the new way that will take so all of these converging technologies that is forces us to uh, you know uh, uh, to use the cloud environment so coming to the sap sap is also has to follow in the same trend otherwise if it is not follow what will happen it will be behind same thing like uh, you lend the on-premise uh, uh, your experience with on-premise technologies and you are not learning the um, cloud the new technologies courses what will happen we are left behind right same way the companies as well so the companies are also adopting these new changes and they are if they don't have the product they're acquiring the companies who has the technology and in every domain same way sap is also uh, purchased so many companies in last 10 years uh, for the cloud companies and in in every domain be it a HR, BTA, finance, in all domains, they purchase the, the, they acquire the companies and they are offering the same model to the clients or customers. Right? 
so if you look at in this aspect uh, uh, then why the integration is required the cloud integration let's look at simply here uh, there is an on-premise uh, 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 the client is already using the on-premise system now they wanted to subscribe to the cloud system okay so what will happen uh, uh, take a one hr process or any hr business so uh, some of these uh, the functionality is already built in on premise system and for the new features you yes, subscribe to the cloud okay so when you wanted to uh, process is business you need the both environments right so to to integrate the both environments the integration is required okay so that is called we call it as hybrid deployments so these hybrid deployments are going to play an increasingly major role in business why it takes a, a major role uh, because uh, the hybrid deployments will be the solution of choice for most companies in the future or in the com it is happening already Oh, because the the for the integration in order to run the any business uh, they need a integration from cloud environment to the on-premise environment whatever the uh, 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 domain it is when we have that built in two environments we have to integrate in order to run that business right so that is where sap is uh, already invested more in integration part uh, that is the platform that we call it as a sap cloud platform okay so the integration that we are called as a sap cloud platform integration okay so the sap cloud platform integration is the is a crucial role in the cloud strategy okay. so the uh, sap cloud platform is the is where the integration tool has hosted and the sap cloud platform uh, authorization or functionality security experts everything is applicable to the integration uh, tool and that will offer to the the even this tool is also offering as a service okay so if you look at uh, in the next slide uh, you can see the benefits of the uh, cloud computing so if you look at the cloud platform you can see uh, what are the major benefits that we can offer to the clients So if you if you see on this slide, there are four benefits that you can see it, right? What is the first one? The faster deployment. So comparing to the on-premise, uh, the cloud uh, technology, the cloud services that that you know it takes very less time compared to the on-premise to implement for the customer. Okay, so we can count in weeks. So that is the faster deployment. So uh, earlier for on-premise, it will take two years, one year to two years. So here you can say three weeks to six weeks. The same, the same service, the same functionality you want to implement with the cloud, that much difference is there. Next, access to innovation. Access to innovation means, uh, you know, uh, 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 when the new things the new features are uh, uh, offering so there is an upgrade cycles that happens once in a year right so our quarterly upgrade cycles is also happen so uh, when we uh, uh, when the new solutions comes uh, that we can offer to the innovation uh, uh, access to innovation that means uh, any new feature that we are offering to the customer it is a free of cost uh, because he is already subscribed as a subscription basis and also whatever because you know two years if, in the fast 
face world every day there are new changes new features will come into that into the specific area right so those new features that will offer to the innovation so these innovations are offering and responsibility by the sap as part of upgrade cycle they can give these new features that is called access to innovation uh, uh, customer no need to pay extra amount for these new features because the business model was changed now and the third is the agile deployment configuration and integration what does it mean that means you know we have a, a, a rapid configuration process that means uh, already uh, if you want to you know implement any uh, solution there are the the pre-configured packages are available for example for the uh, for the you know integrations as well there are some standard packages are available what is the use for example there are some best practices across all the clients so we can take uh, one of the common best practice then that are offering the uh, to the client that can save some time right so uh, that is called agile deployment so uh, that is also offering for, from sap cloud platform next lower tco finally cost so uh, of course there are benefits but finally comparing with the cost the cost is also cheaper than on premise so that is why uh, uh, um, you know the deployment and upgrade process are become more and more agile and also uh, the cost is also cheaper and there is an innovation cycle uh, that is providing on quarterly basis and faster deployment uh, that is also happening all these things will eventually attract to to the customer so now actually earlier there is some apprehensions that security issues are there you know uh, of course uh, still that is also continue but uh, now everything is moving everybody is moving to the uh, client obviously uh, the trend will continue hmm? that is these are the benefits of uh, cloud platform so when it comes to the cloud integration uh, because the course is intended to learn cloud integration right so earlier we call it as a hana cloud flat hana cloud uh, integration uh, for the branding purpose sap as a rename to sap cloud platform integration so we simply call it as a cpi so in cpi So basically, the CPA is offering to focus on two scenarios. One is uh, this is not the uh, this is not the best uh, scenario that is offering for SAP for CPI because on premise to on premise already there was a middleware tool. What is the tool? Uh, you know it, right? Most of you know it. Yeah. Uh, exactly so earlier it was xi after that uh, you know new versions with the pi pivo so the on premise to on premise the, the the already the pi tool that is sufficient so cpi is mainly focus on two scenarios so one is uh, cloud to cloud this is one of the scenario okay so where we can use the cpi as a middleware to integrate from one cloud uh, system to the another cloud system right sender to the receiver so this is the uh, one of the best option to use it most of the customers are using for the cloud for example sap success factors as one of the hr system they wanted to integrate with another cloud system like a conquer another sap okay or even non sap systems like uh, uh, people soft based or uh, uh, google cloud platform if they want so anything a non-sap system also they can use it so anything whether it is the sap or non-sap it doesn't matter but if it's a cloud to cloud we can we can suggest a client to go for cpi tool and the another scenario is cloud to on-premise this is called a hybrid model 
cloud to on-premise. So we have a sender as a success factor system and on-premise we have a payroll system or ERP HCM system. So we wanted to integrate uh, the both the scenarios. If you ask me, can PA can used? Technically, you can use a PA, but uh, you know the prepackaged integrations or we wanted to use CPA is the best way because the content that SAP is offering, they are focusing by keeping with the CPI tool. So CPI is the uh, best uh, middle way to use it for in this scenario. Why it is the best way? Because sender system, sender side, it is hosting on the cloud and on the middleware is also cloud then on the on-premise it is uh, uh, the hcm system was hosted on premise level so when it is hosting in the same cloud platform then uh, the the whatever uh, in case of the prepackaged integrations are uh, to access or to connect and convert us all these options are more convenient to the cloud systems so th that is why uh, sap has suggesting or uh, recommending to use cpi in this scenario also okay so mainly to focus on these two scenarios are the best options and to use it of course clients also use in the same way one is cloud to cloud another one is cloud to on-premise now let's look at the capabilities capabilities means uh, cpi functionality what is the scope of cpi functionality what are the things can uh, can integrate or what are the things cannot integrate right? if you compare with the pi system if you compare with the pi system whatever the functionalities or capabilities of pi all are handled by cpi okay all are handled by cpi if you look at a message transformation so like message transformation means uh, if you have the uh, message mapping or you wanted to use a scripting groovy scripting or you wanted to use, you know uh, use the uh, content modifier or you wanted to use the converters so any transformation options are uh, that we wanted to use uh, those are available by using cpi for example there is a, a csv data right that we wanted to convert into a json format or json format so two different formats right from one format and the format uh, can cpi handle yes it will handle and uh, uh, there are two type of system uh, sorry two type of uh, uh, connectors like a uh, uh, web services connectors or sftp connectors so on the sender side you want to connect an sftp uh, connector but on the receiver side you have to connect with web services can cpa handle yes it will handle so uh, in short uh, whatever on-premise pi can handle same thing all things are will handle by cpa like uh, other capabilities are message persistence security related security related is most focus why it is uh, most important because uh, the systems are in the cloud so we need to be enable more certificates so you are going to learn more and more about how to handle certificates how to deploy certificate how to configure certificate so all certificate management you will be learned uh, by in order to understand in relevant with security aspects next routing events so all these are capabilities do you have any questions on this here you have one question here so in the previous slide you have given uh, you know uh, hcp to uh, pi connector so in pi we are trying to connect to hci right oh uh, yeah here. so here uh, uh, let's say the the client is already using pi system for their on premise systems say b and c for the purpose okay. of b and c uh, he is already using the pi system 
now okay. the a system is a club from the cloud it is newly introduced into their environment right so in this case client is asking should i continue with the pi or should i remove the pi for the sake of cpi so what what we need to suggest in this case so the suggestion is uh, let's continue the pi because the pi is already there uh, at the same time we can't uh, use pa for uh, to integrate with the cloud uh, to integrate with the cloud system so uh, the recommendation is let's continue the same environment with the pa but we can use uh, a cpi or hci uh, in the cloud for integrate with uh, with a system with the brc systems okay so in this case uh, what is the role of pi the role is to use pass on communication so we don't drive with integration content but uh, for the for the sake of communication channels it will be useful because already the connectivity uh, pa to b uh, c systems are already there so uh, we can directly connect uh, the connection will go from a to cpa cpa to pa pa to b or c systems uh, here the connector between cpa and uh, hca and pa what type of connector it is so here we can use a web services connection uh, or we, we have a multiple options so one is uh, web services is possible or if the pi is uh, is the pa the scope of pi can handle the you know the direct connections for the cloud connectors we can use it so we have multiple options that they can choose it like uh, proxy integration between sap pa and ecc do we have mm -hmm. any kind of uh, standard uh, communication for all applications between uh, uh, hca and pa so that we can implement further uh, target systems and source systems uh, i heard I, I am not sure i heard uh, you might have a very good idea what is a cloud connector in pa cloud connector Hmm. Okay, so what is cloud connector? I'm coming to that. So, okay, now here I will explain since you're asking. Cloud connector is basically, hmm, okay, I will explain this way. So, for example, there is no cloud. Continue, otherwise, no problem. Ah, yeah, cloud connector is a different uh, topic. So, cloud connector is basically uh, when we have uh, when the environment, for example, you say that a PA system is uh, is PA system is possible for two cases. One is uh, directly we can PA system is accessible to the internet and another case is pi system is not accessible to the internet only within the network only it is accessible so uh, when when the client don't want their systems to expose to the internet then the best option to use cloud connector and when the client is okay to expose their systems to the internet then no need to use cloud connector so the cloud connector role is uh, to connect with the cloud systems from on-premise so we, we install the cloud connector in on-premise systems from there uh, we can have the dedicated communication channels to the cloud uh, cloud systems so that is the main role of cloud connector so for the security okay things that. yeah for yeah. the security uh, things uh, okay. uh, it is a best option to use cloud connector okay okay Mara, so this cloud connector is only for hca yeah, right that regarding the cloud connector right so that mm. is what, what is the use of web dispatcher what is the use of web dispatcher uh it is part of the environment yeah. no? so web dispatcher is when they want to load uh, when they want to handle the uh, request for example if you have the more than two or three nodes right so in order to handle the uh, balancing of the uh, request whether it is a trusted network or non-trusted network the web dispatcher is important to handle such queries such things uh, in the uh, before coming into the uh, the tenant management node so that is a better uh, way of handle filter those requests before reaching to the uh, tenant management node you can see in the architecture diagram about what is the importance of web dispatcher. 
Okay, great. Can but that is part the of architecture. Yeah, that is yeah. not Always customizable or that is not uh, huh? something we can configure. Uh, that is part of the architecture. That is how they built SAP. Okay, great. See, uh, can be the connectivity established between CPI system to S4 system without a cloud connector? Uh, uh, CPI to S4 uh, is a cloud, S4? It was uh, S4 HANA. S4 HANA. So from CPA to S4 HANA, yes, you can uh, you to you can integrate without a cloud connector. Okay, cloud connector is not mandatory. Just please note down, cloud connector is optional for a client. Okay, if the client uh, is want to, uh, if the client, uh, you know, uh, does not agreed with uh, their systems to expose or to connect with directly to the uh, cloud systems then intermediately we can use cloud connector that is the main intention to Without use the cloud, cloud connector, connector we can establish the connectivity between of course to it. yeah of course of course you can use that can you let us know how we can establish yeah, you are going to see that now that is the intent of this course <laughs> so how to configure the cloud connector how to set up the cloud connector you can see basically learn. see basically cloud connector is not part of the client system it can we can also get it from the google we can download it and we can install the certificates and that was maintained by the basis tree. okay right? okay so the main thing is that uh, from cpi that how we are going to connect to s4 system is the main job. Yeah, so uh, even CPA course also you can download from Google. It is possible. <laughs> okay, so uh, but when you really configure with the client, then you will come to know all these things, how to really to configure uh, C uh, cloud connector. So uh, if you, uh, you know, uh, to configure the really with the client, with the licensed clients, then you can see what is the uh, the real configuration uh, re, uh, how it has to be uh, you know how it will work and why what are the reasons that will not work it is not something that uh, just simply install cloud connector then it will work there are a lot of things that you have to be handle it i was started with certificate handling and communication with from on premise to uh, client then in the reverse proxy we have to do the configuration then it will go on to the uh, cloud connector tenant there you have to provide authorizations then you have to handle the security uh, configuration there then you will include the new system there are so many steps are there it is not like a one minute Okay, so now please let the presentation go and ask doubts at the end as well. That is better, I think. Okay, yeah. Next. So more or less the connectivity options, it will be, uh, you know, uh, more or less the iFlow when we configured it, uh, it will be, looks like in this way left hand side all the sender systems will be there right hand side all the uh, the receiver systems so in between the cpi which is hosted in the cloud so from sender system to the cpi uh, you see soap or data sftp what are all these things those are adapters or connectors right so there are a uh, defined connectors uh, which is uh, you know uh, uh, built and configured by sap so so we don't need to set up a new adapter we don't need to customize uh, any adapter we just configure these adapters so o data sftp idoc email anything depends on our requirement we can select that adapter and we will configure it from cpi to receiver systems so configuration the adapters from cpi to receiver or sender system to cpi the adapter configuration is a uh, very easy in cpi uh, okay and then the prepackaged integration content uh, it will be available it is available in the cpi tenant so 
what exactly about a prepackaged integration the prepackaged integration is nothing but uh, in every domain sap will take the best practices for the integration scenarios and they will provide you as a prepackaged integration content so for example employee master data is there so from success factors to on premise system for the hcm system uh, uh it is the best practice for because every client will has to use it so for the common things uh, they will use as a, a standard package and they will uh, that is the that is available in the cpi domain so we we directly because uh, we don't need to uh, build the iflow from the scratch so we use this prepackaged integration content if you want to have any additional modifications or additional things some of the iflows they are giving for modifiable state also so we can able to modify it so off of the uh, iflow they can sap will offer on top of it if you want to add anything uh, according to the client customization anything that we can use that as well so so there are two aspects one is completely uh, completely prepackaged integration without changes that is like a configurable directly we have to configure or some uh, modifiable uh, in prepackaged integrations where we can modify uh, additional uh, things according to the client that is also we can use that so the uh, the uh, the whole uh, prepackaged integration that is possible to use in the cpi tenant okay so uh, there are uh, different additions are available uh, i mean to subscribe to the cpi even not only one because it depends on their maximum uh, as, uh, you know uses of the client they can use it one is a application addition so this application edition is nothing but uh, when the client is purchased the subscriber to the any of the uh, uh, any of the functional domains like success factors ariba or field class anything they can purchase it they can give if you know the uh, cpi they will they will offer the cpi for the limited access for the limited uh, access up to nine adapters so they can give uh, this as a package they can offer this edition like application edition then the standard edition so this is the edition uh, they can give you uh, you know uh, without uh, having a an, uh, without having a multiple nodes uh, or if they wanted to have the uh, you know dedicated uh, data volume or the the speed the, um, this is the standard of when when the client will purchase the uh, any of the vol cpi versions um, they can go for the enterprise edition like a professional professional edition so professional edition is the suitable for the any of the companies starting with the uh, uh, starting with uh, you know one system or the multiple systems in the environment they will go for the uh, professional edition and uh, the standard edition is uh, to use it for the purpose of uh, only the sap systems uh, then they go for the the standard edition why because uh, the the additional uh, tenant or the additional notes that will they will not offer it professional edition is the best suitable thing for the enterprise uh, clients and the developer edition is the for the consultants or the partner companies they will offer it this is for only for the sap partners they will offer it okay so from here uh, with this i will stop here to uh, i will take your questions if you have anything then uh, i will show you the content the course content okay so let me show you the course content as well
here we are going to use a groovy script also right for some of the mappings yes yes we use the groovy script actually cpa is uh, supporting two two languages uh, one is javascript another one is groovy so we use uh, groovy uh, to uh, you know uh, to use in our i flows so uh, groovy script is also easy to understand even as a layman people who don't know about that you can easily learn with less time so groovy script to understand that is better okay so i hope uh, you all have seen this content if anyone has not uh, uh, not have a look at this content uh, just uh, uh, have a look at you, you can contact uh, my links are anyone will uh, they can share this course content okay so the course content is uh, you can easily catch all the points okay you just tell me how the course content is so uh, the first one is we can discuss about the int introduction like a uh, few slides i have already shared it right so same way i will explain about uh, cloud platform not about integration about cloud flat sap cloud platform and also we will compare with other cloud middlewares like a Dell Boomi. It was also a, one of the good tool for the cloud middleware systems, so cloud systems. So like a Moolsoft. So all the trending uh, cloud middlewares, we can compare with the CPI as well. Okay. And then uh, CPA architecture. So this is also important thing. How the technical architecture that was built by SAP okay, in the data in the cloud and how the data centers are integrated and how, what is the network uh, infrastructure that was built in the cloud platform. Okay, so around technically architecture and all these things we can discuss about uh, in this topic. Next is the SAP CPI building blocks. That means uh, just now I just uh, introduced this prepackaged uh, integration, right? So how to consume that prepackaged cont content? How to configure that integration content? The prepackaged pre means the standard package content. Uh, yeah, how to modify in some of the iFlows or the package they're offering, how to modify it? And how to connect with the connectors as well? So all these things we can discuss about uh, prepackaged in content and then the next important thing is uh, uh, the design part because uh, ultimately we need to uh, here we want to learn how to develop the iflow from the scratch right so in order to uh, expertise or in order to hands-on with how to implement or how to build that iflow you need to learn these topics or these functionalities like a request reply content enrichers and looping process call process call like how to make calls with other systems okay that is called service calls and different events are there start event timer or error start how to how to configure these events and message transformers as i told you no, the mapping things, encoder, decoder, map, convert, content modifier, and message routing, message persistence, value mapping. So all these things about uh, functionalities that are available in CPI in order to build the iFlow. Okay, so all these things we can discuss as part of design part. Once you learn design, then we need to connect with other systems also, right? So those we call it as adapters. So different adapters we have. O data, SOAP, SFTP, Success Factors adapter, IDOC adapter, RFC. So we are going to configure all these adapters during in our course. Okay. Are, you better? are we going to add, uh, you know, for these adapters, you know, uh, the challenging part is which I observed, uh, you know, uh, security. So are we going to have this kind of securities here, at least for a few things? You mean uh, how to while certificate handling of yes course. yeah 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 certification handling that's what uh, i am uh, i told you uh, there is a one topic here completely to handle about certificate management what kind of cert where, yeah here you can see under the security part certificate okay. management uh, that means uh, we how to handle 
different type of certificates for different adapters okay your Correct. question will cover in this topic mm. okay okay no. so different adapters are there so that we will going to be configured next is the operations and monitoring so that means uh, how to monitor uh, the high flow right and how to enable the trace in order to debug that high flow so how to debug that high flow and how to check the payloads and how to deploy the certificates and uh, different apis are available like success factors api or data api so how to monitor those apis how to uh, see the uh, logs for the apis everything about uh, apis or the monitoring of the high flows everything we do as in this topic and then the next important thing is security okay security at uh, adapter level how to handle it like you are saying certificates and all how to handle it and uh, at a message level like encryption and decryption you know uh, how to send the data with the non readable format encryption decryption how to handle it and uh, uh, another important thing is user administration how to create user in cpi how to assign different authorizations right and and uh, different for different authorizations for the different authorizations uh, you need to understand what exactly the behind the functionality of our different authorization what will happen if you assign this authorization and like that you know i about user authorizations then additional uh, topics like uh, how to transport the content you are developed the type flow in one tenant and you want to move to the another tenant how to transport it and b2b support functionality and uh, error handling you ask someone ask me right so how to handle the header handling techniques for example uh, some exceptions or errors are happening in the type flow how to notify to the other people how to handle such type of errors and in success factors there is a tool called integration center how to you know uh, we'll just explain we'll go through about the integration center and different deployment scenarios are there that also we'll discuss it and finally the business scenarios different business scenarios are there cloud to on premise cloud to cloud cloud to third party systems and finally set up the cloud connectors so in this business scenarios we mostly focus into the business data like what type of data we are transferring it so we will move that is one environment to another environment okay so this is the primarily about the uh, course topics so if you are experiencing these course topics i'm very sure you can easily you know uh, uh, complete the certification as well that is also uh, very easy to understand because uh, you are covering more all uh, vast topics in integration so i'm sure it is easy for you as well to write certification as well. okay uh, class timings regular class or weekends and uh, what time it is it will be a regular class uh, monday to friday uh, morning time but what time exactly we will let you know either okay. it is 7 am or 8 am it depends on uh, you all people choice so we can uh, fix one time i think most of the people are working so we have to uh, reach office by 9 maybe it's morning 7 7 is good okay it's my personal opinion good time i think okay then we can make it a 7 as well yes it's so, all at 7 it's all at yeah. Fine now. Anybody is having any queries prior we conclude the session? Are you also provide uh, uh, access for the tool or uh, this yeah. is the uh, okay so this is here. very very important boss even i just forget to say uh, the right question so for practicing purpose we need access yeah okay so for about access uh, we will provide you access and uh, you are going to be practice and uh, during the course i mean uh, is it, uh, from... 
one one tenant per uh, you uh, i mean uh, participants or uh, one for all uh, kumar will explain you how to practice how to connect that system one second uh, one second kumar one second <clears throat> so meno uh, uh, who is asking this question srinivas sorry srinivas yes srinivas actually uh, we provide the access through the team weaver where you can connect to our system remotely and you can practice it and hca success factors ariba is not like sap sd fico or something where we can get in a pirated market Correct. everywhere right Correct. it's all yes. about the trainer he is taking the risk on his job to provide you the access why because uh, there are a lot of restrictions have been implementing by sap i would be having a live right. monitoring where uh, okay so that's only the reason everybody cannot train and everybody cannot learn these technologies that makes you demandable yes. when you are going to the interview okay and one is fact we do provide the training access for you to practice will make you to practice through, throughout the course time and another one month after finishing the course for sure okay fine sir was so it will not impact the uh, on the server application which are there right already because you know uh, even uh, if already existing server uh, if it is we'll only for trainings no problem it is very okay we'll okay. take care of okay. it okay 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 so you, thank you as a student you can practice all the functions okay that's it okay yeah and also you can have uh, at the end uh, you are going to practice as much time you want to practice it you can practice it to cover all the topics and one more thing sir can you <clears throat> cover in this training groovy script as well yes it will groovy script is also covered so we have the uh, uh, the most important uh, scenarios uh, uh, in relevant with uh, cpi so those all the use cases will be covered uh, using groovy script So only you can use uh, whenever required in the script only, or you can teach uh, like some from basic. Meno, Meno, who is no. actually you have kept the name as Bangalore. Yeah, this is Nag Nagendra. Yes, yes. Actually, Nagendra, uh, if you take any cloud technology scripting, we use for customizations. Okay. the mm -hmm. moat of the cloud technology is to just play with the ui drag and drop here only few functions of the groovy script is going to be using in uh, cpi where that will be covering in the course and you doesn't require to know the complete oceanary uh, script also okay so uh, uh yeah so to to learn the scripting language we will discuss in that classes so you will come to know that what is important of the groovy script so any more questions? and next thing is uh, we will provide the material as well like uh, uh, how to configure content modifier how to you know when we are discussing about in the development uh, each topic when we discuss we have the document for that so uh, you can refer while practice it as well so the step by step document will help you how to configure that functionality whatever we discussed in the session that will help in practice will you also provide recording for these sessions a uh, recording uh, it's not about the, uh, selling the videos okay mm. and you people are paying for the live interactive session where you need to interact with the trainer and you need to resolve your doubts but only provided mm. whenever you miss the session and with the prior intimation mm. we'll request the trainer to record the, please record the session so that you people uh, can uh, attend it later can watch it later Okay, I was asking for the same case. If I miss any any yeah, yeah, session, do. then we we are highly supportive, and uh, you know, right from success factors to to conquer CPI, we only the people who introduced in the market uh, world's training market for the first time. Every each and every cloud technology, and we've been a brand for it. We always uh, work for from student front. You can ask us directly, no problem. Any more, uh, guys? any valid technical question yeah. that you people can talk to the trainer these are all the things facilities and flexibilities feasibilities you people can talk to us with admins 
Yeah, Hari here. I have a question. Like, uh, I have a question. Technically, it's more of a alerting mechanism. Is there any uh, provision in HCI? Uh, it can support email or SMS alert in case of any error in iPros. Uh, okay, so the support, uh, yes, uh, you can discuss in the session, whatever uh, in case uh, at the end of the session, if you have a uh, questions, then definitely we will support. And also email, we will provide email, you can send an email as well. So whenever we have the time that we can. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm asking, it's more of a, is there any, like uh, in the IFO level, if any error occur, is there any email or uh, SMS alert out of the box in SCI? Uh, okay, the admin team or support team. Iflow, yeah. Your question is a technical question that uh, how to handle in case of errors in Iflow. Right, 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 right. Okay, we'll discuss in the topics. Hmm. So, how to handle that errors? I think he's iFlow. asking uh, like uh, if any error happens in a HCI in terms of uh, designing or any workflows, will uh, any chance of getting uh, these notifications, email and SMS notifications to the portal? Right. But since it is a practice session, no, we disabled the, the such functionality because everyone <laughs> that is a licensed tenant, so uh, 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 the, uh, the functionality is disabled. And uh, in case if you stuck with uh, any error, right, uh, in the iFlow, uh, uh, we will give that email so you can send through an email. So mm -hmm. at least we have a provision how to do and what to do, right? Mm -hmm. To uh, like same like alert mechanism. So mm -hmm. in HCI, uh, we can see that right in the practice sessions, even not for all the interfaces, at least one yes, how yes. to configure yeah, yeah. and how, how to, to configure, configure email. Yeah, how to SMS. notify. Uh, right. uh, emails to the you know to the irrespective email address how to trigger such emails uh, uh, it will be covered in our course okay 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 okay, okay fine now uh, let us uh, conclude with thank you guys and it's a uh, very valuable sunday yeah. for all so thank you thanks for joining and if any considerations please call us after two hours okay so uh, we can talk okay. Thank you. Thank you a lot. And thank you, Mr. Kumar. Thank you all. Just uh, concluding this session. Thank you, Kumar. Yeah. Okay.